Hi, Steven here from Core Electronics. Today I want to talk to you about how to use the infrared transmitter and receiver on the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express, and we're going to do it using make code. Utilizing these sensors is really easy in make code, and it's an exciting feature that adds the remote option to any project that you might be making, and it allows you to use two Circuit Playground Expresses and have them communicate with each other. Every Circuit Playground Express has a transmitter next to the A button, and it's this little white LED, and that's an IR blaster. And then we have a receiver diode, which is this black diode next to the B button. And then there's a decoder chip, which decodes all the pulses of infrared light into a digital signal that you can recognize and use within make code. So we'll take a look at the program that we're going to make. It's going to use two Circuit Playground Expresses. Whenever you push an A button and send the signal to another Circuit Playground, it'll turn on a light animation on the other board. When you press a B button, it'll turn on a sparkle animation. And each board will be able to both transmit and receive. So if you press it on another circuit playground, then, then the, whatever board receives it will start the animation. And you can, you can do more than just play an animation when you receive a signal. A fun project would be to make a laser tag game using multiple circuit playground expresses, and that'd be pretty easy to do within make code as well. So let's, let's go over and see how to make this program. So I've opened up I've opened up make, make code for Circuit Playground Express. And first of all, we're gonna get rid of our forever loop because we don't need it for this. And we're going to use, um, for the first time in the network section, we're going to use our on infrared received loop. And we're going to use on button press. So on button A, click from input and on button B click. So we'll go back in the network on button A click. We'll get the infrared send number command and then we'll put one in button B click as well. So on button A click right now we have infrared send number zero and button B will change this to one. Now the we don't actually send just a zero and a one What's actually sent is 59, 59 on off pulses of infrared light with varying durations between each pulse. And our code on the other end knows to recognize that series of pulses and change it into a zero or a one when it receives it. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes as usual in make code, but, the, but it's really easy to access for any user um, through this interface. So we have a transmit of button A, button B, click. They'll each send the number when it's pressed. So now we need to do our receive. So we're going to get an if else logic loop. And we'll put that in our infrared received. And within true, we're going to need a comparator. So, um, We'll go to, we'll take this equals, and we need, uh, so when the when a signal is received, it's going to change it into the var variable of number, or num. So we wanna grab that variable, which is underneath variables, and you can make more variables if you need them, but for this, we're only gonna use this one. So if, so when, when it receives an infrared signal, it'll save it as the variable number. So we have logic that says if number equals zero, then we'll play an animation. So we'll say if it's zero, then we'll play the rainbow animation for two seconds. So if we receive an infrared signal and it's not zero, then will show a sparkle animation for two seconds. Now, if there's other infrared signals bouncing around, we 
want to have, we might want to have another if statement with another comparator that says if number equals one, then play this animation. But because for this example, we only have two, there's no stray, there's no stray infrared signals bouncing around. This will still work. Um, you may find that a button press from some different remote will initially a sparkle, but I think that's something that we were prepared to live with here. And then we want it to clear when it's all done. So we'll download that to our circuit playground. And when it receives a signal, it'll initiate the light animations just like before. And something worth noting is that on our virtual interface, we can test this code just like usual. So when we hit a button and then we have a command to transmit something, another circuit playground will appear in our interface and the animation will play on that other circuit playground. And then on the lower one, we could do the same thing, hit the buttons to transmit up to the top one. So again, one of the great things about make code is you're able to you're able to try out your code and see it working anything on the board at least see it working in an action before you load it to your board so you're able to know that you've got working code before you have to mess around with hardware which could have its own concerns like say you have the wrong type of USB cord going to it and your code's not not loading you might think that there's something wrong with your Circuit Playground Express when you can check that you've got working code on the computer before you even try to send it there, and you'll know that it must not be, there must be something else happening. So we can also take a look at the JavaScript of this same program that we made. And again, there's a lot of commands within JavaScript that make this just a lot simpler to use, and I'm not gonna get into it much now, I just wanna remind you that it's an option to program in JavaScript as well through make code. So that's all there is to it, to make this program. There's a lot of different options, a lot of fun things that you can do with the transmit and receive function, especially if you're, say, in a classroom with a lot of Circuit Playground Expresses together. You can make lights sync up by using infrared signals. You can make a laser tag game. You can even make proximity sensors using the infrared transmitter and receiver. If you wanna learn more about the Circuit Playground Express and everything you can do with it using MakeCode or CircuitPython, there's lots of other tutorials on it available on our tutorials page, so go check them out. Thanks.